Hey everybody, this is eTradeSupply.com and once again we are going to be the first to show off some new parts for a yet to be released phone, this time the Samsung Galaxy S4. We will be looking at two parts today. One is the front housing and the other is the LCD assembly. So we'll start off with the LCD assembly and we'll compare it with that of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now when you first take a look at them they look very similar. However, one thing that we did notice is that the new Galaxy S4 has an extra sensor hole placed right up to the left side of, of the earphone. Now the most obvious difference between the two assemblies is the 5 inch display on the S4 compared to the 4.8 inch display on the S3. Now if we look at the two assemblies you can see that the S4 is only one millimeter taller than the S3. However, the LCD screen is three millimeters taller and it's two millimeters wider. So what Samsung has done here is they've utilized more of the available space on the front of the phone and eliminated some of this gap that used to exist between the LCD and the edge of the phone as well as on the front housing of the S4. Now another difference that we noticed is that the S4 is becoming a little bit more rectangular. When we put the two LCD assemblies head to head you can see that the top of the LCD for the S4 is less rounded than that of the S3. However, the four sides of the LCD assembly and the housing are still not perfectly flat and still have a bit of a round feel to them. Looking at the back of the LCD assemblies, you'll notice that the main difference is that the flex cables have been moved from the bottom of the assembly up to the top of the assembly on the S4. You'll also notice that the navigation panel flex cable will no longer be attached to the assembly and will no longer be connected to the main LCD flex cable. Perhaps it will be installed on the front housing instead. Now we'll compare the two front housings of the S3 and S4 using the i9505 version for the S4 and the i9300 version for the S3. Now on this S3 front housing uh, there are already some small components installed such as this non-conductive material which is pasted on there's also a couple of rubber gaskets and there's also some metal inserts inside of the screw holes. Now these metal inserts in the screw holes we usually see in phones today however on the S4 they have the screw holes without the metal inserts and these screw holes are threaded directly into the plastic. Without the small components when looking closely at the front housing of the S3 you'll notice that it's actually made just from one mold. You'll see that the sides have been painted blue and it's even been painted a little bit on the inside with some metallic paints. The S4 on the other hand is actually two molds that have been put together, one being a light gray color and the other being a black color. Now you can see along the sides and along the bottom the two molds have been fused together and they're actually fused together so tight that it feels like one piece. And you can see on this front housing metallic paints have been applied to certain areas as well. Now one of the bigger differences that we see on the S4 is unlike on the S3 where most of the components were located at the bottom of the phone, uh, they've now moved them up to the top part of the phone, above the battery. Now the most obvious difference between the two front housings is the area for the battery. You can see on the S3 the battery fits directly onto the front housing, while on the S4 there's an empty space. However, if we turn this housing around, you can see that all around this empty space there's a groove. So this groove will probably fit a plate to hold the battery and it most likely will be made from a material that's more heat absorbent than plastic to keep the phone cooler and improve its performance. So that's all we have for now, but once again you saw it first from us at eTradeSupply.com, your best source for high quality cell phone parts.